everyone, welcome to the Omogimura YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diola Adebi and I am the founder and editor of fashion and beauty blog slash website Omogimura. Welcome to today's video. It's all about oily skin. More specifically, I'm going to be giving you 10 makeup and skincare hacks to help your oily skin. I have gotten a lot of questions about how to keep my makeup matte. I got a question from a particular um, follower. I cannot remember her name, but her comment is going to be right here around here and she was asking me about um, making a video about how to keep your face matte i have developed these hacks and tricks over the past like uh, a year like oh, last year is when i really perfected you know finding ways to keep my makeup nice and matte and oil free these tricks and tips are not going to stop your skin from producing oil it is impossible because it's a bodily function you can't stop yourself from sweating you can't stop yourself from producing oil what i am going to let you guys know is how to manage the oil and how to um you know prevent it from making your makeup look like a mess in an hour if you are interested in finding out my 10 secret tips and tricks for my oily skin stay tuned please do not forget to subscribe it's that big red button down there also click on the little notification bells i said bells notification bell so that you will know exactly whenever i upload a new video and i upload a new video every wednesday you guys do not want to miss that so let's get started with I'm not gonna be wearing makeup in this video because I mean I am talking skincare and I just want you guys to actually see what my skin looks like without any makeup on so this is it I have oily combination skin and that means that I get oily in some places and the rest of my face is more natural so my t-zone right here and all the way up here gets very very oily here down up there so my skin my neck these, this, these areas on my cheeks and up here you're fine. I also have really large pores on my cheeks. I don't know if this camera will be able to pick up that much detail, but you know, large pores on my cheeks right there. And as you can see, I have acne scars, and that's because I'm acne prone. I had just finished treating um, a forehead breakout with using tea tree oil. You guys want me to make a video about um, tea tree oil and how it can help with acne, and also how I use oils to treat my skin. You know, a general video about that. Do let me know in the comment section below. This is my this is my face <laughs> my number one tip slash hack slash trick is not to wash your face so much I'm pleading with everyone that's watching this video and you have oily skin please do not wash your face every single moment of your life baby believe me that washing your face every day is not gonna help what you're doing is you're making it work what happens with the skin is that it produces oil I think it's called sebum I can't remember but it produces oil and that is to protect your skin if you constantly strip away all the oils on your skin your skin is going to think it's in a very harsh environment and it's going to overproduce oil it's going to create more oil it's going to push out much oil because it thinks oh my god we're in a bad world we're in a bad place we're in the desert we're somewhere where you know everything is being stripped away so it's going to produce more oil and then when you see more oil you're going to wash your face more and it just you know it's just a bad cycle that starts and it doesn't work well the advice you to do is wash your face in the morning in the evening that's it and when you wash your face you have to use cleansers that are very soft and gentle so that you're not stripping away all the oils in your skin you strip everything your skin's gonna be like Arr! my favorite cleanser is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This cleanser is crusty and that's because I've been using it for such a long time. This big jar lasts me a while. A long, long, long time. I just wash my face twice a day. In the morning and in the night before I sleep. And that's it. My second tip slash hack slash trick is clay masks. Clay masks are big for oily skin. Believe me when I say this. Believe me. Because what happens is that the clay literally oops it like all the oil on your face like all of it it's just have oily skin just oily skin i will recommend just a regular um, clay mask this one is the mint julep clay mask 
I've had this for over two years. I use this at least twice a week, is what it looks like. You can see I'm like halfway or almost to the bottom of the, of the container. You have acne prone, oily skin, charcoal clay masks are good for you. Charcoal is going to, activate charcoal by the way, is going to draw out deep rooted dirt. Like all the dirt in the bottom of your pores, once you put a clay mask a charcoal clay mask over it, it's just going to like literally suck it up because charcoal is really good for cleaning out dirt. Tip number three is moisturize. Yes, 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 yes. I have a lot of people that say, oh my god, I have oily skin, you want me to moisturize? You want me to put more oil on top of it? Well, I'm not asking you to put oil on top of it, I'm asking you to moisturize. Moisturizing and putting oil on your skin are two very, very, very different things. Moisture is water. Your skin needs hydration, it needs moisture so it can be nice and plump and glowy. Oil will just sit on your face and make you look like an oil spill happen on your face. Now the kind of moisturizers that oily skin girls should invest in are gel moisturizers because they're light, they're made with little or no oils whatsoever and they're perfect for the skin. I really love the Yves Rocher Sabo Vegetal Zero Blemish Gel Cream for Oily Combination Skin. It is perfect for oily skin because it contains a kind of powder called Bicol powder that absorbs the oil and balances out your skin. So as you're using this product, over time your skin will become less oily stuff. There's no oil whatsoever. I really love using this cream. I'm about to use some of it now because it just provides an instant boost of moisture and mattifies my skin. This is not sponsored. Yves Rocher, if you want to pay me, I'd love the money. But this is not sponsored. There's no oil, nothing. I'm matte as ever. My um, tip number four is to use a mattifying primer. Now, there are several types of primers in the market. They're hydrating primers, they're color correcting primers, they are pore refining primers, they're blurring primers. Believe me, there's so many primers in the market. But the primer that you need as an oily person is a mattifying primer. A mattifying primer is basically going to loop all the oil in your skin. It's also going to provide a barrier like to your skin. So it'll be your skin, the primer, then your makeup. My favorite primer, I've heard so much about this primer, is the Becca um, 18, is it 18 hour or 16 hour primer? I can't remember. Is it even 8 hour? It's a really great primer and I've heard great things. Um, oily people on the internet, I said oily people. Oily skinned ladies and gents on the internet say wonderful things about that primer. In Nigeria, the kind of primer that you would, can't, you would use, which a lot of makeup artists, a lot of Nigerian makeup artists use, is Milk of Magnesia. That thing literally dries up your entire face. It becomes so dry, your face becomes white. That is how how powerful that thing is. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's not a great primer to use, but um, I've never used it. I've only heard makeup artists say they use this primer because it absorbs oil. Tip number five is that after you apply your primer, either put a setting powder or a setting spray over it. Yeah, that sounds weird, I know. When I heard it first, I was like, what? You want me to put powder, then put liquid? This is going to provide an extra layer of defense for your skin, for the oil, so that if it passes the primer, it's still gonna meet the oil. You know, so you're, you're setting your skin up in such a way that it's the oil has, you know, it has steps, it has levels to go through before it actually like peeks out of your face. The black opal finishing powder, perfect, just perfect loose powder. You can just dust it. I'm not asking you to put like a proper layer, just like dust like that. Um, Log Cosmetics has a nice setting powder this is in the shade daisy i use this under my eyes to brighten it a little bit um zyron also has setting powder this is the oil control mineral loose powder this powder makes sense like when i use it like my makeup lasts longer the setting spray that i have started using is the kuri cosmetics makeup fix it's perfect i use this at the end though i don't use this after my primer i generally prefer using a powder after my primer, they're using a setting spray. So whatever floats your boat, whatever product you have on hand, you can use. My next hack slash trick slash tip is no makeup oil. Please, if you have oily skin, do not 
use makeup oils because it's just going to make your oily skin look 10 times worse. When we look on Instagram and we see all those beauty vloggers and bloggers and gurus, you know, dropping the oil in the pan, mixing it and, you know, making, doing makeup and looking so wonderful and radiant. But you have to remember that Oyembo people have dry skin. They have winters over there. They have weather so dry and so harsh that they need to incorporate a lot of moisturizer, a lot of um, hydration and oil so that their skin looks radiant and glowing. My advice, do not use makeup oils. Don't at all. Because it's just going to make your face look worse. Because when finally the oils, like the oil from your face peek through and the oil in the foundation or whatever you mix, come together your face is gonna look like a shiny tomato i'm warning you if you want to go do it that's fine but i'm warning you if you are like me then this tip should work for you use concealer on your eyelids concealer eyelids yeah i have oily eyelids if you have oily skin you possibly have oily eyelids like yeah i, I have oily eyelids so what i do is i use concealer as a base so that when you're putting in your eyeshadows it's just not mixing with the oil on your lid it's also great to put down a primer, a base, anything, but I find using concealer, like the LA Girl Pro Conceal. My eighth trick slash tip is, my, it's kind of advice, don't do luminous slash glowy looks. It is possible, but in like, in very specific ways, like you can have like a really nice highlight, you can have like a really nice like, you know, forehead highlight, nose highlight, but don't do that if you want your skin to be radiant and luminous because if you have oily skin, adding luminosity to your skin doesn't really help you because everything just looks like oil. Luminosity doesn't really work for oily skin types. It's very hard to pull it off without looking greasy. So my advice and my hack is just to stay away from those looks. So my ninth hack and trick is something that um, I know a lot of people do, but I just want to repeat it because it's very essential for oily skin girls use setting powder when you finish your makeup it is important to use setting powder to set your whole entire face and to give the oils another layer they have to fight through so when they fight through your foundation your concealer your blush your highlight they're gonna meet a powder do you get it? they're not gonna meet just the skin they're gonna meet a powder and a powder is a great way to kind of like put all your makeup in place so like you know kind of like to push all the layers of your makeup to get my last makeup tip slash trick for oily skin is setting spray yes after you use loose powder to set your makeup get a setting spray this will help you it might look like a lot but believe me this is the shit that helps me a girl has a really great mattifying makeup spray ben nye ben nye has a makeup spray apparently that's the spray that performance um people that do theater use need a setting spray a wonderful setting spray that's gonna keep all your makeup in place so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching i truly 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 appreciate it please do not forget to subscribe before you leave red button down there click on the notification bell so you will always know when i put up new videos you can follow me on social media i'm on twitter facebook instagram i'm i'm everywhere details are in the description box below do let me know if you like this video if you did give us a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about my hacks let me know if you have other hacks that you do and i didn't mention i'm always up for learning new stuff so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next week Bye bye